Would you get on this 100 feet high rope bridge if you were promised some special reward? Well, I paid to get on the bridge and I have no regrets at all as it was such an exciting adventure. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience crossing the Kari Kari rope bridge and I hope you decide to do this or go on a similar adventure. So let's get right into it. The Kari Kari rope bridge is a 100 feet high rope bridge located in the north coast of Northern Ireland. The bridge is usually open to visitors but pre-booking is recommended. So once you arrive at the venue, you pass through the ticket stand and begin to make your way towards the bridge. As you can see, I got my ticket so I was good to go. One of my favorite things about this place is that you get to enjoy beautiful views of the Ship Island, the Irish Sea and the Rathlin Island which is Northern Ireland's northernmost point. It takes roughly 20 minutes to get to the bridge depending on your pace, but like I said, it's an interesting walk with beautiful views of the sea. Now while we are on our way, I'm going to tell you some interesting things about the bridge and what Kari Karid means. Kari Karid basically means the rock in the road and the road bridge was first erected by salmon fishermen about 250 years ago. Sadly, there are no more salmon and all that's left are the stories, memories and remnants of those earlier times. You can get more information about this from the interpretation panels on your way to the bridge. But for now, let's focus on crossing the bridge, which is the most interesting part of this adventure. Now, once you get to the bridge, you receive some instructions from the guide and prepare to get on the bridge. But first, we had to wait for a few minutes so the people on the other end could cross over. While I did this, I enjoyed views of the cliffs around. I mean, Northern Ireland has some really beautiful cliffs. Finally, it was time to get on the bridge. Now, you take a few steps down to get on the bridge, and to be honest, I was really nervous, so I had to go slowly and steadily. I think I was more confident while returning, as you'll see later in the video. Now, if you're acrophobic that's afraid of heights, then I'd say you need to be careful at this point. The bridge is completely safe and it's almost impossible to fall. However, in 2015, a man is said to have fallen on the island, but that was after he crossed the bridge and he was airlifted to safety. Reading about this before my visit was probably not a good idea, but I tried to stay calm. Now, this gives you a better idea of what was going on. I was this high and yes, crossing the bridge and I think I enjoyed it. You would also notice some people seem to be more nervous than others. I think I was one of the really nervous ones. Now once you cross the bridge and get to the other side, you'll be standing on the Kari Karid Island. And from here you can just enjoy the views and have a closer look at the Ship Island and the Rathlin Island, which are the islands you have right ahead. So I enjoyed the views for a few minutes, took a couple of photos and made my way back to the bridge. Now as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I was more confident while returning as you can see from here. But I don't think I was in the best outfit as I literally battled with the wind throughout. The bridge actually feels really stable and of course it's safe or else no one would be allowed to get on it. Now I would say this has been my most daring adventure and I would absolutely love to do it again. Because it takes a brave heart to get on the bridge, you're going to get a certificate to acknowledge the fact that you did it. I would also encourage making a donation if you can to help the conservation of this site. So here's my certificate and it makes me excited I took this bold step. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please take a moment to like it, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications for my subsequent videos. I look forward to sharing my next video. Until then, bye for now.